What? <laughs> Urban Outfitters. Almost every mall has one. Pretty much it's a hipsterish, thrift store-ish fashion store that sells clothing and furniture and random things alike. And they sell it for a, a little more expensive price than you would actually find at a real thrift store. So Urban Outfitters is pretty diabolical for this. They've actually started selling OCP pants. So OCP is the operational camouflage pattern. This is the camouflage that active duty Army, Air Force, and Space Force members wear in their current uniform. And we can get it for I think about like 40 to 50 bucks on base. And there are other places that you can get online for maybe 60, 65 bucks. But Urban Outfitters is turning this around and actually making people pay 75 bucks or is it 79 bucks for the same pair of pants. And these are literally the exact same pair. So I have my iPad here and let's just go take a look because the fashion industry using military uniforms and kind of some military inspiration is nothing new. You've seen it in all different types of brands, but this is where I think it starts to get a little past that threshold of like something acceptable because it's just crazy how they're trying to charge more for the same exact pair of pants. This could be kind of stolen valor. We're in second bet, Rangers, yep. there it is. Where's your combat patch at? Uh, I gave it to a little kid again. All right, wash your flag so low on your shoulder. It should be up here. Okay, but hear me out. I got my iPad, so if you go to the Urban Outfitters website and you search up, let's say, camo vintage, because they like to call these things vintage, right? You're gonna get a bunch of different things. So camouflage patterns, these don't look too crazy, right? Um, they just pull different types of camouflage. So I think this one on the left here, that's like the British camouflage that they used at one point. Um, and then you keep scrolling down. You just get different types of camouflage patterns. Here you have this vintage camo pattern shirt jacket to the left. I'm pretty sure the Marines on Iwo Jima wore that when they were storming the bunkers. Um, but they're selling that for $89, $89. You know, actually, let's just go take a look at this one. So if we want to take a look, it's one size. <laughs> what, is, what is this? This is one size fits all. This isn't a hat. This is a whole jacket. So like, you know, it, I mean, one size, you can have someone that's 5'5", five, five, and you can have someone that's 6'5". And to say that this is one size fits all is pretty wild to me. Okay, yeah, that's, that's very interesting how they're selling that. Um, but yeah, I've continued to go down these camo vintage. Vintage digi camo pants. So look... These are the current uniform for the U.S. Navy. So originally we're starting this video talking about the OCPs, which is the camouflage for the Air Force, Army, and Space Force. And right here, we have the actual U.S. Navy camouflage pattern here. Yeah, it's crazy. And you might even see someone's name tag on this for $60. But they marked it down. It used to be $75. They said, all right, let's just do $60. Um, and we start going down here more random camouflage and then you have your vintage camo pants a zero three so here oh this one's xl so yeah this is pretty much the exact same pants that i have um and let's see if i can show you it it's literally these pants right here so definitely an interesting marketing strategy by urban outfitters um and then as you can see this has three reviews all one star this guy says goofy bro these are the current u.s army and u.s air force uniform pants don't waste your money on these no i do not recommend this guy's name is ban ocp pants do not buy too expensive these are current ocp pants in the military that sell for 50 dollars okay and this other guy says y'all are scamming so um that's pretty interesting and let's see if we can find any other ocps here um, here's another camouflage that the military used to use, and this is the old <laughs> vintage camo jacket 03. These are the old BDUs that they used to wear back in the day, and it's kind of funny because you can see like where they used to have a name tag and where the branch is, and they just literally just took it off, ripped it off. <laughs> Size medium, $60. What's sad is like, you know, some person who's like about fashion design is gonna look at this and be like, yeah, that seems like a good good deal. And it's just very silly. Um, here, I think you have the camouflage for the Germans in the middle here, the Urban Renewal Vintage Camel Pant. And then here is what we were 
originally talking about is the Urban Renewal Vintage Camo Utility. So here you have this guy styling um, his pants with uh, white socks, black high top converse, and a muscle tank. So definitely an interesting look. Kind of it's given like rebel skater guy. Um, yeah, very interesting. You even have it's literally the same pocket that they have on our actual uniform, and it's labeled as beige camo. Now this one has one and a half stars opposed to the one star of the other one. Thirty six reviews. Let's see what some people are saying. Collector's point of view. I saw this originally from a reel on Instagram and had to see them for myself. The fact that they label the OCP patterned vintage is beyond me since it's still in current issue. Exactly. This guy says, Fucka. <laughs> the fact they call this vintage is crazy. You are welcome from my service. George W. Bush says, Urban Outfitters hates our troops. If you're going to sell these, at least donate 100% profits to veteran support groups. Remember, folks, 22 veterans take their own lives a day. That's very true. You know, uh, have this go to actually a good cause. You know, this guy, Gomer Paul, says five stars. This is my uniform. Womp womp. Location, your mom's house. <laughs> the internet is such an interesting place. Um, used uniform scam. Okay. Let's look at some, uh, just skim through it. I mean, everyone's given this one star other than that five star guy. Absolutely embarrassing. Are you serious right now? Who a very poor quality fabric. Shameful. Um, better style, but meh. The military is not a fashion statement. So as you can see, um, we'll go back up to this guy. Uh, it is just an interesting... Uh, way that Urban Outfitter is trying to sell these pants. I feel like people are going to be mixed on this where it's like who cares that Urban Outfitters is selling OCP pants but I personally feel like I don't really care if they're going to sell OCP pants but why are you going to make it more expensive for people to buy? Like at least make it a little more cheaper. They're just trying to rip off people that want to get OCP pants, whether they're civilians or even military. Like, that'd be dope if military folks and service members could actually go to Urban Outfitters, buy OCP pants for cheaper. That would be sick. That would actually kind of change the narrative of this whole thing of them trying to sell it for 80 bucks. Very wild. But just for the sake of us being on this website, let's see what other type of camouflage they have. Urban Renewal Vintage Standard Camo Jacket. They have random camouflage here. Oh, this is an interesting one. $600 for this camouflage camo chair. Um, ooh, whoa, they have a, a vintage ABU rain jacket. Extra large, and they're selling it 150 bucks. I want to say the last time I was able to wear it and they phased it out of the Air Force was in 2019. Um... Yeah, this is something that you got issued. I literally got this issued to me in basic training, Air Force basic training back in 2011. And I can promise you it is not $150. Absolutely crazy. Actually, let's go and just bring it out here. So here it is, the ABU pattern, okay? Airman battle dress uniform. Or airman battle uniform. So here you have it. I have my Air Force tech sergeant stripes on it. And I actually... Remember, I was able to use this in the Space Force as well before they actually phased it out. So I believe it was actually in 2020 or 2021 when they officially phased out the ABUs. And that's why I was able to change my Air Force tag to a Space Force tag after I transferred over in 2020. But yeah, this is it, you know. And they're selling it for $150. Very interesting. Oh my goodness. I just... <laughs> <laughs> this thing literally just broke the hanger. Definitely a very interesting sales tactic by Urban Outfitters. Um, because, yeah, like I said before, I don't know how people are going to take this. I think people are on either side of, you know, why are they doing this or they shouldn't do this. And also people are like, why are you guys even caring about this type of stuff? Um, but I am curious to see what you guys think. Is this something that Urban Outfitters should keep doing? Or is this something that you know, people should just kind of ignore and just go about their day. Anyway, uh, leave your comments below. And if you guys haven't hit the bell for notifications, hit that bell and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. As always, stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.